things and okay there we go all right and can everybody see my screen i see it sure can okay. all right so this is uh 6.2 uh, please hold the applause um <laughs> there's there's not a whole lot you know like for, i'm just using the uh default uh, 2023 theme here um not a whole lot there's not anything major but i'm going to show some of the things that i i've uh, noticed um probably the biggest change is if you are using the uh full site editor or the site editor or whatever uh one thing is uh it used to say uh, beta for the editor. The uh, WordPress team feels like it's it's time to get it out of beta. I'm I'm uh, you know there's still some things that need to get fixed, but that's you know that's up to them. Anyway, um, so here's what the site editor now looks like. Um, I don't know. Actually, can I get a raise of hands? Uh, those of you who have actually used the full site editor that built into WordPress, not something like Elementor or say uh, the Cadence theme or, okay. So we've got a, a couple of hands here. Difficulty rolling through, but oh well. Anyway, so they made uh, they've made a, a lot of Im improvements. Um, one thing is, uh, so if you're visiting your site, you can just edit it by clicking here, edit site, and it it uh, shows. I, I think what they were trying to do is to make a more uh, unified uh, interface uh, because uh, there were some real issues with the the previous one. So now what happens is that if you uh, click uh, edit site, you you basically got two options. You got templates and template parts. Um, I think I've discussed this before. So the templates are where you edit, thing, you know, the big big things like uh, say your 401, uh, sorry, 404 page or your home page, which is what it's already on, or say, the search results page, or say a, let's do single, that's gonna be uh, basically a blog post. And then of course you can add uh, new templates right here. Uh, you can also see uh, all the different templates that you've got available and you can add more new ones up here. So you've got templates and then inside each of those templates, you've got template parts. And so this is where you can do things like just focus on the header. So this header looks kind of you know boring right now, but this gives you an idea of like, if I wanted to uh, say, I don't know, swap, swap these around and have it where the titles on the, eh, that didn't work. Well, I, I made a change and, and so you kind of see how, how that works, but this is basically, so the, the navigation is, is built a little bit better to where there's, there's more of a fluid, um, fluid effect when you're going from a template to another. Uh, that was the problem with the uh, site editor before was that it was very jarring. You'd click on something and then the interface would completely change on you. So this is to kind of give you, an, you know, give it a more uh, subtle, uh, subtle look. So I'm going to go to the home page and and uh, then show you some of the other things. Um, there's a few changes to what you used to see up here, this icon has changed. This is basically your, uh, this will open up the, the uh, settings for say your, your templates or your blocks. And then you've got uh, styles uh, over here. 
And uh, if you're if you're ever finding it difficult to figure out what what where are all these things, there's actually a way to turn the icons off and just show words. You go over here to the options and go to settings. No, I'm sorry, preferences. There you go. Go to preferences. And there's an option here to show button text labels. You can turn that on. And so then you can see, you know, what these uh, icons stand for. Because I, I think that the the icons aren't necessarily intuitive. I mean, this gives this icon says, you know, give it conveys to me, okay, it's a sidebar of some sort, but like, what is this? Is it to turn it black and white or something? But actually, this is style. Uh, there's another hidden icon or uh, another icon that's not so clear, and it's for the style book. So uh, this is a new feature that's come out. The style book allows you to uh, see the different styles uh, without having to like go through different templates and stuff. So I'll click here. Oh, sorry. It won't click there. So the way the style book uh, works is that it uh, breaks up everything. I know that like some themes, if you go to the WordPress repository, uh, they, they'll sometimes have a demo and they'll have uh, pages that basically have this information. But this is a nice little thing in that um, it, it allows you to like quickly see what the uh, different styles are. So I can see, okay, this is this is how it handles galleries and, and so forth. Uh, the other cool thing is that while you have the style, what is it called? Styles book, style book, style book, sorry. Excuse me. Um, once you while, while you have the style book open, you can preview other themes, uh, sorry, not other themes, other styles within that same theme. So this is the default 2030, sorry, 20, what year is it? 2023, 2023 theme. <laughs> um, and it comes shipped with 11 different styles. So say if I want to pick this one uh, or this kind of get, tells me right away, all right, if I pick this block out style, um, the images are going to be overlaid with a, a, a red duotone color. Let's see, there's some others. Yeah. So this is this is really handy and that it gives you, you're able to see what the different major blocks are going to be. Now, this isn't going to be, uh, we were just talking about um, cadence blocks. And I, I am not sure how a cadence box handles uh, the different style changes uh, if they, if they're applied uh, down, or if that's something you have to have to uh, change in your cadence setting. Um, I'll, I'll bet they're not. Huh? I'll, I'll bet they're not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, the, 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 you need a block theme. I think this is a function of the block theme, and then the block library would probably need to support this stuff too. Yeah, my guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so here I can, you know, I can see like the different uh, button styles, and then there's some other things that are, are not that important, but uh, this one is is really important here because it tells me, hey, the marquee tag still works. After all these years, has anybody ever used the marquee tag? No. No, nobody's been doing web development that long. No. Oh, sorry. Now those are the times. What, those what are is the it? so that this one right here where it's scrolling? Yeah. Yeah, it's got it's called a marquee tag. I, I'm pretty sure. I, uh, here, let me. It's, yeah, it is. Um, we 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 used yep. to get mad at it because we couldn't make it smooth, so we had yeah. to go to JavaScript. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I uh, back in the '90s, I uh, that was one of the first uh, 
and they, that's what everybody was doing it's like oh i i can put a marquee in there and it's scrolling it's the animation so forth and uh i also had uh, midi background music uh for, for my site and uh, and of course the 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 infamous uh under construction uh animated gif um all right so uh anyway so this is uh what you're able to, uh to do Ooh, sorry okay uh th this is kind of a way where you can you know preview preview the different styles and then if you want to apply it you just click save it's going to tell you it's going to um it's going to save custom styles and then i can get out of the uh, uh, get out of the style book and let's see there's another there's another improvement that I'm hoping I can oh okay uh I don't know if you remember uh I was showing you how to uh use full site editing before and one of my biggest frustrations was that you couldn't actually view the page um you had to like go go back here and, and go through all this this nonsense and i i didn't want to do that so let me let me go back and there we go that's awfully slow um well now they've they've added a view button so it's very similar to if you are editing a a, a page or a post you're able to view uh the page uh, using the view button and and you can you know shift between different different modes uh, but you can also then view the site in a new window and see that everything uh everything is working let's see here there's there's not a whole lot more oh okay this is the this is going to be the last thing uh, the last feature that i think is important um it, it was kind of a one 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 of my biggest problems uh with full site editing was the navigation um using the classic navigation you you really had some some pretty good control over how you go organize things uh, they have improved it not to the level that they were hoping to they had to uh, pull uh some features out because uh, what was supposed to happen was that, and and what's going to probably happen in a, in a future release is you will see a, a navigation uh, link right here where you'll be able to edit your menus. But the way that it's working right now is if I open up my settings, and then I'm going to open up the list view so I can see uh what i want to do is i want to get to the navigation block and so now you are able to at least see the navigation and organize them right here in the settings before you you didn't have this at all you you only saw like settings uh per link but you did not see anything for the navigation itself and that was extremely frustrating. Uh, so now, you know, you can go in here and I can search for, um, oh, sorry. Okay, I, I, I can add a page link and then search for uh, something like, uh, Search for block or my books. There you go. And there, there it adds it. And then I can, you know, rearrange this as I as I as I see fit. Um there's still some there's still some gotchas with the this approach. Uh, one of the things that I I still am not a big fan of is that in the classic uh in the classic navigation editor you're able to filter by posts by uh, pages 
And then if you're using something like WooCommerce, you could you could filter by products, or you could uh, you could uh, uh, any, any other custom post type that you want. With this interface, you still are having to pretty much um, search for for everything you want. In fact. Oh, okay, so there's the post link, at least. But the, yeah, the, the unfortunate thing is that I have to search for the, the, the title or the URL of, of the, the link. I don't see like a list of them and um, able to like check, uh, pull them up a, a check mark and stuff. Probably all of you, if you have been messing around with uh, WordPress navigation, uh, you've been using the classic uh, menu editor. And uh, that's basically what I'm talking about is that it gives you a lot more control uh, over it. But it is an improvement. So if you're just doing like a real basic site and you're not having to do a whole lot of uh, custom navigation, I, I think this works. Um, and that, I believe, is all I have on 6.2. Um, oh, this is another thing right here is that, so I, I made some changes and then I, I basically, I guess, backed out of the changes, but I can see that it's warning me right here, there's one unsaved change. So I'm gonna go ahead, click save. And then it's going to tell me, hey, you've got uh, this is what's going to get updated. And I'll just click OK. And then that's pretty much it. Um, anybody have any questions? I see a couple of things in the chat. Yeah, I have, I have a, a, a quick question. So, so you're saying if you if you had a. Uh, um, a WooCommerce site with a lot of products, you have to search, if you wanted to add one of those to the to the navigation, you have to search for that exact product. It won't give you a list yeah. to choose from. Let me, um, let me install, uh, I had something like, there we go, Cadence. Okay, so Cadence uses the classic um, uh, classic menus. In fact, you can see it right here. See the the uh, menus uh, appears. the I, The thing I think stinks about the 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 new way of doing it is that if I activate, if I'm going to activate uh, this uh, Abisco. Theme, which is a full site editing theme. Notice how the menus completely disappeared. You can't go. You can't get to it. I suppose that maybe you could if you if you had the link, but uh, yeah, you can't get to it. And and that uh, I, I wish that wasn't the case. Yeah. But yeah, you're right about the uh, the WooCommerce things. You would have to like look up every single individual. Uh, thing which makes it difficult so here's here's a here's what the uh, oh by the way uh ignore this warning that because i've got uh debug settings on i'm using a, a local instance uh here but so this is this is what you see using the classic uh in interface and i'm just going to do a menu and create a menu and so here notice you can see your most recent without having to search for anything you can also view all of them right um and you can search if you want but then you can see the different uh post types that this thing right here that books this is just a plugin i've been messing around with um so yeah, in this case, you know, I can have a link to a custom post type without having to know what the the name of it is. I uh, the other thing is that I could put in uh, categories, 
Um, and I believe tag should be, yeah, there it is. Okay, tags. You know, you can put, you can put tags without having to search for every single uh, individual uh, item. And I think that's, uh, you know, that makes it, uh, that makes the older interface, I think, far better than what they've currently got. You know, maybe, maybe that's part of the new thing that they're working on where it's going to, you know, it's going to be drastically improved and hopefully we'll have uh, these features. But, you know, if I go back and I mean, change, change it, I'll edit the site. So this is the, the full site editing interface. And I mean, there's some things I, I love about full site editing because, you know, you can basically design the whole dang thing right here. But uh, one of the things that that uh, stinks is the navigation is, is somewhat limited. And I kind of wish that it did not do this where you add a you add a add a link and then it's trying to it shows patterns instead of blocks. I know WordPress is like really pushing patterns. Um, okay, so you can, yeah, you can add a category link, but you have to search for it, which is unfortunate. There's nothing like I'm I'm trying to scroll with my my mouse and there's there's nothing I can do here. So I would have to know exactly what category name or what uh, tag name this is before I could actually add it. Uh, any other questions about? Uh... It's like Michael has something. Yeah. Yeah, you were saying that you don't get to the menu. I, I have avoided the full site editing themes because even though I think it's the future, but when Astra and Cadence starts coming out with them, I figure it's probably ready for prime time. And I suspect in the next year, we're all going to see full site editing. But your question on the menus. Okay, so how are you how are you controlling your menus if you can't get to the menus through the appearances anymore? Do you, do you okay. understand the question? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Sorry. I mean, there's there's got to be a path, but I, I just, because you seem to know what's going on here, I thought I'd ask that because if yeah. you don't do it the old way, how are you going to set your menus in the full site editing? I'm sure you're using 2023. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a block, yeah. isn't let, it? Let me go back to, um, let, let me go. Let, uh, actually, I had a different theme, but let me go back to 2023 just so I can show you. How, how that works. Okay, so I'm gonna go to edit site. Um, I have to drill down to get into, actually, let's do this better. Let's go to template parts and let's just focus on the header. That's what we're working on. Oh, that's kind of interesting, that background image. Okay. All right. So here I've got the navigation. This is the navigation block. Um, I'm going to make it a little wider so everybody can see it. Um, in here, you've got uh, three tabs. I think uh, maybe we were talking about the, that appearing for cadence as well. So you've got the list of the different menu items, and then you've got uh, settings. And then you have uh, things like color and typography. So the menus, I think Doug mentioned, menus are controlled through a block now when you use the, is that how, how they're doing it? Yeah. Yeah, the menus, uh, the, the navigation is a block and then you have in it, you have these, um, these different uh, items. So Pretty much every site in full site editing will need a navigation block then. Yeah, yeah. 
There are, now, okay, you know how like in the classic editor, uh, you're able to, you can create multiple menus and then have them uh, associated with a, you know, something on some place on your theme. So, you know, you could have a, a, a header, header menu and a footer menu and, and so, so forth. And you could always swap, swap them out. Okay. So the way that it works here is that uh, they do have things like that, but it's just a little bit more difficult to get to and a little bit difficult to control. Um, but here, uh, what's happened is that I have uh, three menus, and then I have this classic menu. That was the one that I just created, by the way. Um, hmm. So the thing is, like, if I want to import a classic menu, now I didn't put anything in it, so that's why this is empty. But I can uh, pull that in. I can also create a new menu. So I'll do that right now. And uh, do a custom link. Just stick that in. OK, wonderful. Um, Now the question is, save this. All right, let's not save it. I'm trying to figure out is where I can, is there a way I can change the name of the menu? Um, yeah, I, I don't think, I don't think I can. So, Say I, if I decide to create another menu, I'll click new menu and then just uh, I'll pick anything right now. Then go back over here. See what it does is that it, it looks like what's happening is that it's taking the name of this navigation block and duplicating it. Yeah, but but you, it, you need to be able to change your menu titles, right? I mean, I mean, I think I understand what you're saying is that the menu control should probably be in core. And now you're going through a, a block to handle it. It probably is going to work, but I don't understand how you can't name your menu menus, right? I don't understand how it. Uh, I'm uh, sure it must, be, there must be a way. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure. Menu, it's there what about the three dot menu on the left column? You're already highlighted on nav. Does that three dot menu allow? editing the name of the nav so on the left in the blue there on the left in the blue oh yeah right there uh no this pretty much all it does is it uh the standard block controls yeah this this doesn't really this this allows you to do some actions that you can't do uh over here mm -hmm. there was a in the previous version, there was a way to manage uh, your menus. It, it, what it would do is that it would uh, it would take you to a place on the site or it's, it's in the admin section where you would see a list of your menus, similar to what uh, what you see when you're viewing all your posts and pages. But the problem was that if you went to then edit one of the menus, you would see absolutely nothing. It was weird, and I, I'm guessing that's why they got rid of that. However, this just brought up something I, I remember now. There was some a new thing that came out was uh, you can now copy and paste styles uh, from one block to another. And that's, that's something that uh, that's cool. Cadence has had for a while, as well as uh, some other uh, some other. Uh, block plugins, but now you can do that uh, with with core. I don't know how how well it works, but that is something that they that they came out with. But yeah, it's it's uh, you know it's it it's one of those things. It's like it, it, once they get this part done, once they get the navigation working the the way that it should, I I think that I definitely would. Uh, be totally on board with full site editing. 
Um, but it's unfortunately, I think like, you know, if you're, for example, if you're running like a WooCommerce store and you want to, uh, you want to have a, you know, uh, a sophisticated menu, boy, that's going to be, going to be tough. I mean, it's going to be tough, even if, if I'm just, uh, you know, trying to, to run some, uh, just list, you know, have sub menus with individual pages on it because it's like I have to know what those pages are. I can't do, I can't use the old interface. Yeah. Um, I can't even access it as long as I am using a full site editing theme. So I think that's a, for some people, that's a deal breaker. Um, I still, uh, you know, it's it's definitely improving. That's for sure. Yeah, it doesn't seem intuitive, but I mean, yeah. I guess it's just an, another set of skills you have to learn. And once you do it, it's probably going to work just fine. Uh, but when you start dealing with the number of menus and sub menus and stuff, and <laughs> yeah, it's a job yeah. at me. But I appreciate you going through that. So thank you. Yeah. So, so if I can add on to that, um, you know, you mentioned Michael when you know in a year from now when Cadence and Astra and those guys have themes, that's when it that's a good indicator that it's probably ready. <laughs> um, few things I want to say to that: one, uh, the Astra folks, the people behind Astra, who are also the same people behind the Spectra Gutenberg blocks. Um, released just in the last week or so the spectra one theme and that is a full site editing theme so uh there is a there is a theme in the repository now called spectra one and that is a, th their entry into the full site editing space spectra it's in the spectra. repository so they must have a free version it's probably going to be a free yeah. thing yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, when I I saw Adam Prizer video like a week ago, and he was using it at the time. He said it had been submitted, but it hadn't been yet approved in the repository. But I saw his video a few days after he re recorded it, and it was in the repository. So if you look up, and and um, in case anybody uh, doesn't, doesn't know, you, the name of the themes that support full site editing is they call them block themes or block based themes. Is that right, Aaron? What are they block based themes? They're, they're now block themes. Block themes. Yeah. And I, I, I think that's a little bit of a confusing name because it it almost implies that you need one of those just to build with Gutenberg blocks. And that's not true. Yeah. The block themes, with the distinction is that that full site editing allows you to use effectively build the header and the footer and the sidebar and any other things that would be normally handled by your theme allows you to build those things with blocks. So your header, you build it with Gutenberg blocks and your footer, you build it with Gutenberg blocks and your sidebar, you build it with Gutenberg blocks. And, you know, there's, that's why there's a whole bunch of blocks now that have been added in the last year or so. Um, and when you click on the plus button, to look at all the blocks that are available, um, you see things like navigation. There is a core navigation block, and there is a core, um, you know, search bar block, and stuff like stuff that you would be putting into places like that. Yeah, they're pushing the uh, customizer functionality into the block uh, right system. Yeah, right. Which I, and, I can and, appreciate that. I, I'm sorry, Dave. Oh, and, and, and I was going to say, you know, for me, the, the the bar is pretty high because for, for where they got to get to because Quite honestly, in the free cadence theme, you get a tremendous amount of power and pretty easy building capability with the header and footer. I mean, the header, you get three rows yeah. for your header. You can there there you can have them be, you know, three columns. Each row could be two or three, you know, one, two or three columns. Um same for the you footer. Know, you get quite a bit of Power the cadence free theme, right? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the last five yeah. sites I built, I use cadence. I'm, yeah, I, I know there's several other out. bands, right? I just, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, I, um, uh, I just built out a whole site and ended up not even using any of, the, of my cadence full membership 
uh, with it because I didn't use any of the paid uh, stuff. I did the whole site with free blocks and free Caden, free Caden's blocks and free Caden's theme, seven page site. And, um, um, you know, I, there's lots more I could do in the header and footer than what I did. Yeah, I've, I've built five websites with the free theme and, and I use Cadence Blocks, but I also use Generate Blocks. So it, it's kind of like depending on the situation. But yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of power there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's really, uh, but they're going to evolve to the full site editing too. So they they are with, too. Yeah. yeah they're they're going to, gonna... right. It's going to be. So I appreciate what Aaron's showing us there because they, I'm yeah. kind of, because I'm going to have to figure out how they're doing it because that's in the future, they're all going to be there, right? The customizer is yeah. going away. It's going to be in core. It's going to be you know, for better or worse and hopefully better. But, you know, you always have to relearn what you know about WordPress. That's the thing. Yeah. To move forward, it's the goalposts are always moving. So. Yeah. It's just that the, the goalposts are moving pretty slow here, it seems. <laughs> I was in a conversation like this the other day, and they said that, it's not just the goalpost, the whole stadium keeps moving. Yeah. Hey, David, how how'd you find out about the Spectra theme? Uh, there's an Adam Prizer. Did I send you that Adam Prizer video? Oh, oh yeah. It, does he, he make it? No, it's it's made by the Astra people. Okay. Brain, Brainstorm Force, I think is the yeah. company that makes Astra. Okay. Yeah, so, so Astra, they also make the Spectra Gutenberg blocks, which used to be called at Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg, right? And yeah. this theme, he, he he was using it in that video. Hmm. It was pretty big yeah. okay. last week. That was a significant uh, release. Yeah. And there's a question in the chat about the menus for uh, mobile and which most of your themes will let you edit for mobile and they will let you edit for desktop or whatever. So I think that's functionality. Certainly, maybe I don't understand the question quite right. Uh, are, are you asking Aaron in the in, in the in the realm of full site editing? Uh, apologies. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty new with uh, WordPress. So I think it's probably the user error. But yeah, I was editing uh, the header and then it was not only uh, editing it for the mobile; it was also editing it for the um, for the main, you know, web page too. What, what what theme were you using? Yeah, you're using a full site A editing theme. Uh, Astra. Okay, oh. so in there you okay. should be able to go down and there's some icons at the bottom. They'll let you select desktop, mobile, uh, what iPad is that what they call it? So you'll be able can edit the, the headers. Icon. Yeah, so you don't have to have the same menu look and feel for uh, with that theme. The Astra's, you know, you just have to go to the place so that you know you're editing for mobile or you're editing for the desktop, and, and they give you that functionality. Your menus don't have to be the same on on both. Okay, yeah, that's that's a good point. They don't have to be the same, but but generally you want to start off with the default of trying to make them the same. Yeah, you only want to separate and have separate menus for different different screen sizes if you have to for some unique instance. But in general, if you keep it simple, you can edit your menu in one place and it automatically conforms based on the way you've laid it out. That's the goal anyway. You don't have to do it any certain way, but that's that's the general fundamental design goal of, of a lot of designers. Yeah, a lot of people are editing for mobile first rather than trying to compress it back into mobile. They start with mobile first and then then they go to the desktop. And it's, it just makes life a little bit easier when you go that route, in, in my you. opinion. And Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. So, so, so Aaron, do you understand? Have one menu. So if you're, you're using a classic theme, that's not a full site editing theme. So it's not going to be like what Aaron, uh, uh, Aaron Tweeten <laughs> uh, yeah. showed earlier. It's going to be the classic, you know, um, you're going to define the menus through appearance and menus, right? And, and you can have one menu and just call it your primary nav. Now, it will display differently when you're at a certain break point. There should be a setting in Astra. Uh, I've, I've dabbled in Astra a little bit. And honestly, I think that header builder looks now very much like the Cadence one. So I think um, what I'm saying is accurate. There should be some break point in there where it switches between using the 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 nav the menu that has the navigation all the links across the top 
and then switching over to the hamburger. Do you think it complicates things? Um, <clears throat> because my I have uh, I found a YouTube video and it was uh, basically I think three or maybe two separate menus: the right menu and the left menu, so that I could have the logo in the middle with the three different columns. You can do that. You can do that with uh, Cadence. Um, I I haven't done it myself. I I actually almost did it on the site that I just did, but then I. I don't know. I, I I felt like with the things spread out and broken up like that, it was a little harder for the eye to scan. That's all. But um, um, what, what what are you asking about that? That can be done. No, I was just wondering if if that if that impacts um, you know if if everything you guys were saying still applies uh, based on me doing it that way. Aaron, are you saying that you're actually using two separate instances of menus like? menu number one and menu number two one on the left of the logo and one on the right of the logo yeah yeah yep exactly so never seen that and that logo. sounds like a nightmare <laughs> so so, well, so what you would yeah. have to do there aaron is is you'd have to in your in the menus in the classic menu area so under appearance menus create a menu that call, that's called like um desktop left and then another one that's called desktop right Okay. okay, and and put in the three or four links that you're going to want to have on the left side of your logo into the desktop left and put in the three or four links that you want to have on the right into the desktop right. And then you're going to want to create a mobile menu that includes everything that's in both of those. Okay, perfect. Does that make sense? Yep, thank you. Yeah, and then, and then when uh, under the hamburger, it's going to use that mobile one, right? And then in the desktop, you're going to have you're going to have the, the layout of the header is going to have that left one over to the left and the right one over to the right. So you'd have to have three menus there. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking of how to do it in Cadence, which I think is similar to Astros because I think the header builder is very similar between the two. It is Astro. Yeah. And I've done both. I'm, I'm using Cadence yeah. more and more, but Astros, they got a million installs and they really keep working on that with and so I haven't really built with Astra in a few years, but it's going to be everything you need, probably in the free version. So you 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 have a good theme there. It's well supported. Yeah. It's well updated. Uh, it's just you you know that's the thing when you get a theme, you got to learn how that theme works to accomplish what you want. And it, it, but Astra will probably do everything you need it to do. I, I think it's and I think everybody will agree with me that yeah. it's a pretty pretty reliable. Agreed. Pretty, you know, and there's one thing in the terminology here, though. It's like, so when they say classical themes, a lot of people think classical editor, which is five years ago and <laughs> definitely <laughs> ancient history. So I always say block enabled themes to distinguish between a full site editing and a block uh, enabled theme, because there is a difference, right? Most, most of your advanced themes aren't really full site editing, but it's coming. All right. And so the stuff that Aaron's showing us, it, 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 the, I think 18 months, they're all going to be full site editing, probably, you know, yeah. who knows, give or take a year. What, right. Hey, uh, we got a question from Carol. Yeah. Go ahead, um, Carol. Yeah. Uh, so she's wondering if there's any folks here that have a business where they'd be interested in working for hire as a troubleshooter. Yeah, um, but you can come to these work sure. meetups and do it for free too. I mean, yeah, but, I don't, I don't mean to insult everyone's intelligence. I know you've got a great deal of experience here. Um, I'm starting from a basic ignorance position of that five year old uh, understanding of WordPress. And so I'm jumping. I'm, you know, leapfrogged into a new world. I don't know the difference between a side editor and a block editor, full side editor and a block editor. This is all news to me. Um, and so I, my, it, 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 it's, um, uh, I, I, you know, everything is frustrating, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, so, we all started so, that way. It's not, no, you're, you're totally fine asking those kind of questions, by the way. It, it's completely fine. Yeah, we have, we have complete beginners on the on this all the time, all the time. You're, you're yeah. very and kind that's of... what that's why this is called happiness night. This is where you get all you get all your questions answered. Yeah, there's oh. lots of these meetups and they're almost entirely help desks. 
Yes. And, and I can give you a list of, well, I'm probably in 150 of them, but but I, I'll i share a link to my meetup tomorrow that I run. And at the top of it is all the WordPress meetups for the next coming week, not all of them, the ones that I think that are important. Mm -hmm. And so at the help desks, they'll troubleshoot your site right on the spot. Now, if you need to hire somebody, I'm sure David or Aaron or Doug and you know, they would certainly do that for you if you don't want people to see your site. Sometimes people don't want to show their model or whatever. And okay, but the WordPress community is just great. There are resources all over the place. You come to these meetups, you just sit around, you don't even have to ask any questions, just sit and listen. And you're going to just say, oh, that's what the, how they do that, right? And you're going to just and and just give you just don't just don't be get discouraged, right? I mean, we all went through it, and uh, and I'm, you know, everybody half the people here are light years ahead of me, and I appreciate their time. But I wouldn't worry about being a beginner. That's why these meetups are here. That's why we appreciate David and Aaron what they do, is so you get a chance to. But if you got a problem with your site, and I think there's going to be a little help desk coming up next, maybe we'll take a quick look. Yeah. yeah. Where are you at, Carol? Do you have you started building the site, or are you part way there? Are you not sure what theme to choose, and you've not done much of anything, and or like? I I I have done nothing but uh, swap around themes, which uh, I've just caused more confusion than not. I yeah. had a theme uh, built with Gutenverse. Gutenberg. Called, mm -hmm. Gutenverse, uh, cool. called Startupsy. Um, and, um, it looked good. It was free. And I, I, I used that one and went ahead and started, uh, merrily making, uh, adjustments to the, th to what I thought was the, the, the homepage. Um, and, um, Bluehost where I am, uh, had a, an issue. They had to move me from one temporary location to another temporary location. And, mm -hmm. Um, that I may have, have, have seen WordPress update at that same moment, but um, when I got back the next day, that was site that I thought I had been a, um, editing was the only thing that had changed was the editor of the site. Uh, the page itself um, hadn't gotten any of the edits, um, so I had apparently been um, making what I thought were page ads in an editor. So um, I said, oh, I'm confused. And I went and threw on Astra. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm just at the stage now where I'm thinking, well, um, that one seemed to not work as well. I don't know why. Um, so I'm really at the beginning, uh, start from scratch. I'm a designer um, who's done their best to try to keep their ear open to how this stuff works. And now every once in a while, somebody wants me to make their website. So I have a client, and if you ever had one of those, um, it's already due. <laughs> so <laughs> they, they, they want a website and now it's due. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so I don't want it to be uh, too long for me to have a learning curve. So, you know, um, that's why the idea of, being able to specify this particular issue I'm having with today, uh, and here's a solution is worth uh, is worth money um, to me and potentially my client. So uh, well, that's why I'm looking to see if the, you know. But yeah, if um, speed is an issue, uh, I can appreciate why you would just hire out. But uh, Doug K just put a link to the Portland meetup, which is online, ten o'clock on Saturdays. Thank great you. meetup, great resources. I shared a link to a blog post for a meetup that we're having tomorrow, and I've got about, I don't know, a dozen, 15 meetups that are coming up this week. You Where do I find it. your blog post, may I ask? I put it in the chat. Oh, uh, I didn't see that yet. Well, that's oh, okay. no, that's what I just copied. Sorry. Yeah, no, just, you just click through on that, and you'll see a whole yeah. bunch of meetups. I thank you. Thank uh, you and uh, David asked you, what, where are you from? Where, what part of the country? Oh, I'm in Sacramento. Okay, yeah, Sacramento. There's a bunch. Um, Eagle, San Jose, Santa uh, uh, Santa Cruz meetup is a developer. That'll be the third Thursday at six. That's a great one. There's a whole bunch out of the LA area that are that come up every month. Great resources, and they're generous with their time, and they're just really. I mean, you, you know, the WordPress community is the best. It's just 
Uh, but if, if you if you but if you're on a deadline, you need yeah. to, and you're trying to perform and you're able to charge, uh, yeah, there's I, I'm pr pretty sure half the people in this group could probably service you, and then there's other ones, right? So, well, so uh, the problem are you looking at, or are we at that stage? Yeah. What do you, do you want to um, bring up share, share your screen and bring something up that we can? Yeah, show us what you're struggling with right now. At? It's so early in this. Uh, it's it's that I don't have much yet to show. Well, just so, jump in both feet, man. That's how you, you know. Um, you can if you want. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm still I I'm still looking to I'm still looking at that basic. Um, uh, you know, do I use a block editor or a full slide editor? I I don't know the difference. Um, okay. so, I don't know, so, which, yeah, I don't no, know no. which I've got. I don't know what's good. So, so, <laughs> it's very very well you have astra which is a classic theme okay well, i'm not using astra i'm using the startup c i didn't like astra okay. as well oh okay I, didn't use um, it. I don't know startup c i mean i'd have to look it up and then we're yeah, Gut it, Gut so gutenverse is the builder uh and startup c is there is a template on their on their builder so like when, you, when you use a theme you should look at the install base and how often yeah. it's updated. So if you're using some theme, and I've not heard of that one either, and if yeah. it's yeah, 100 or 1,000 installs, you might not really want to go down that road. Astro's got a million plus, right? It's an active community. They're they're pick, they're 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 updating it. They're fixing flaws. Most of the updates are security patches, that type of stuff. If you get an orphan theme, it's very unique that nobody knows about. I don't know that you really want to go down that road. You want a, a widely adopted, well-supported, routinely updated theme. And I don't think I'd probably go full site editing right now. I think you, I don't think we're quite there. It's a little bit of the bleeding edge. Um, yeah. And as we were talking earlier, they're starting to move there. Over the next 18 months or whatever, we're going to see a lot more full site editing. But you're sort of, we're in a transition period, right? And it's better to stay with something that works, is very stable and well supported, than try to get out there where they're going to have problems. They just they will. They're going to have to work through it. You know, plugins won't work with the new themes. Uh, every update, it's just you know, it's just a little early, is all. To expound on that, just one little bit, uh, so it's not confusing. You don't need full site editing themes if you have Astra or Cadence or any other that any of these people have suggested. They take care of that for you. They've been doing that for years already. The full site editing terminology is WordPress catching up. So WordPress can do it by itself. It doesn't, so it doesn't need any of these other highly enabled themes like Astra or Cadence or the other ones. That's the difference. In other words, it's more like the core that you're talking about. Yeah, they're trying to get core up to snuff to be able to to more easily and more, more in, a, in a standard design sense, be able to allow you to easily edit the entire website easier. Concept, it's a concept is what it is. You've always been able to edit it. It's just not as conceptually easy as Astra does it, as Cadence does it, or as a lot of the page builders. That's the difference. So you can forget about full site editing. You don't need to really dive into that. And like Mike says, everybody here will probably suggests staying away from that at this point, it'd be a lot easier for you. Okay. Yeah, it, 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 like, right. like we've been saying, I, I think it's we're, we're, we might be a year out before really some of us want to say, say we want to adopt full site editing. One, one question so, for maybe you guys can help point or two is uh, between Elementor type of classic based versus a blocks based. Like if she could start with that question, that would narrow the field a lot. So yeah. you're you you're, you want to I mean element group is point. A, just you understand what a page builder is versus you have WordPress core and it's expanding in more and more functionality and they're really trying to catch up with the page builders that would add functionality make it easier and less and less do we need the page builders now so if was it Angus that asked that question who yeah. So you said, I mean, Elementor is a great tool. Don't get me wrong. Beaver builders, they're, they're fantastic. They do a lot, but it's additional code on top of your core. And unless you have a pretty sophisticated site, you probably don't need it anymore, right? 
And I think what he was saying earlier is that Astra or maybe Dave was saying that they've added a lot of that functionality into the themes themselves. So you don't really need to add a page builder on top of the core if you just have a modern theme. And your site's going to run faster. Your mobile's going to look better. It's, it's going to load faster. You know, when you start adding too many layers of code, there's there's a potential for conflict down the road, right? As they update, as they make changes, then suddenly they'll crash your site. So I always advise keep it simple. So what Mike, kind of site are you? Oh, go. I'm sorry, Angus. Go ahead. Just to clarify, what you're saying then is she should just look at um, block themes, generate press, or cadence. Theme and yeah, then cadence, the generate press, WP Ocean. You know, some people are using Bloxy. Some people are using Bloxy. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you no, know, yeah, I like cadence. One. cadence was one of the first ones into the block that really adopted it, and they have been updating their stuff. That that's kind of why I like it. They're they're really extending the functionality of that. Um, the, you know, there's the theme itself, and then there's the blocks, right? The cadence blocks, which. Right. You know, and they're doing a lot. And the stuff that just came out was actually pretty cool. Is just setting the framework for a lot of other stuff that's going to be coming probably in the next six or eight months. So uh, I like that one. But Astra has probably got three times as many as the installed base, right? And it's been around a lot longer. And Astra is built on the Elementor builder. No, no. no. Elementor no. would sit on top of Astra, or it would yeah. be, it would extend. Uh, the page builders like Elementor, five, six years ago, it was really hard to get WordPress to work. And the page builders would make it simple for people to do it without knowing a lot of code. And they became huge. The Elementor's got, oh, I mean, they got millions probably using it. And what's happening is WordPress is catching up and adding more and more of the functionality in core. So, so you're getting some redundancy now. Elementor is a wonderful tool. It's great. I don't want to diss it. Uh, but but what do you try to do with your website? If it's like a brochure site or if it's like a landscaping business or it's some kind of, you, 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 what do you really, you, you know, you're, this isn't ESPN Sports Center. It's not like Disney's. So you don't need <laughs> high end stuff, right? I mean, for most of what you're probably going to need, most websites, they don't need it anymore. They don't need all that. Unless you're doing something unique or something you know, keep it simple. Keep it simple because everything evolves. So you think where you're going to be in three years or five years or seven years. If you keep it simple now, it's less likely to break in the future as different stuff. You're going to need a few plugins. You're going to need, you're going to want to do backups. You're going to want to do some uh, blocks that will extend some uh, usability of your, of your theme. But you don't need much anymore. It's more and more is in core. Now, hopefully I'm not confusing you here. No, you're not. I've got a big learning curve, so we're but we don't know where we're fitting on that curve. But you're not confusing me. Um, thank you. What are you trying to do with your website? Simple. Maybe. It's a. I guess you would call it a brochure. Uh, capture. Uh, capture interest. Uh, gather an email or two. Get people to call. That sort of thing. Contact page and a contact. A particular yeah. service, goods or services. Are you going to do any e-commerce on it? Not this one. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so that simplifies things right there. You know? Yeah. In in the future, there may be uh, if I'm going to look at my potential, uh, would be there'd be an interest in uh, working. Primarily, I'm trying to help some people who are uh, going to be marketing to restaurants. The restaurant world is just pulling their hair out, and all of this automation and and uh, e-commerce access that they might be able to take advantage of is just one more layer on top of all the things that they're doing is driving them nuts. So um, I'm trying to work with some people who are looking to add services to that industry. So potentially that uh, in the future that we might be asked as a group, uh, if I can get caught up to speed at any degree, we might be asked as a group to uh, pre provide um, restaurant menus as opposed to website menus. Um, where they need to be able to update an item uh, in their menu and have it propagate to five different, uh, you know, five different menus, you know, our happy hour menu and our Thanksgiving menu and those things and be able to uh, attach different prices because of that. 
um, it, 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 it costs less at happy hour than it does, you know, um, mm -hmm. it, and, yeah. and that, that kind of complexity, although it's not uh, e-commerce, that level of complexity is consistent with restaurant users. And that might be something that. Yeah. Astra can do most of that. And when you get into e-commerce, you start getting into payment gateways and shipping and, mm -hmm. and what you're really doing is you're just, you're advertising. It's like a, uh, maybe a little more of a billboard or kind of like I said, on Sundays, we've got a brunch and we have this menu. And then uh, uh, Mondays at happy hour, we have this, that's the kind of menus you're dealing with. And yeah, all that can be done with Astra. And you'd be surprised how fast you, you'll move up the, the curve. You know, that that's really not hard. You yeah. can do that with Astra. You don't need a whole lot of plugins. It, you're going to have to figure out how you're going to uh, show your menus right and which when when it's appropriate you got a little bit of that going on but that's going to be a, a, a you know a sensibility thing you're having to decide for yourself how you want it to show but the theme that you have in wordpress will will do pretty much all of that and unless someone uh, disagrees or has a different opinion i i would i would render that uh you're going to be asking some of these uh fact finding and research style questions for a while you know, you're just going to keep on moving up to the next level and next level. And uh, to keep the fun in it, uh, based on what I've heard already, I would just offer that I would put a lot of weight on the theme that you choose uh, from a lot of the people in these groups. If you're going to keep coming back here for advice, I would tend to put a lot of weight on the themes that these people are using as opposed to the rogue theme that we don't recognize so that so it's easier for us to help you so if you use cadence or astra those are going to keep on coming up no matter what group you go to um yeah. and there's a couple others i uh, generate press with this generate blocks there's a few that you're going to hear of those develop a top three and choosing you know talking to people and choosing that theme is going to help you in the long run a lot better than if you choose a theme and and try to uh get going on your own and get yourself in in a in a corner and then come here for help and none of us recognizes the theme or the the stuff that you're using so i i would suggest that that's that's going to help you in the long run yeah you want a well adopted well supported but on the question of restaurant themes didn't wordpress core just come up with a new restaurant theme application didn't that just in the last month or so I don't know of it. They all have them. Yeah, all, but they, all, all the themes have have those restaurant templates available. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah the dude, templates are older, but I think is... I think .org's got one now. I mean, I think the core group produced a restaurant theme. I might have saw it on WP Tavern or somewhere, but but the, even that is gonna if they did, it's gonna be a really low number of people using it at the moment. Yep. Right. And and uh, the. That, that, that'll probably never catch up to Cadence and Astra and, and Bloxy and Generate Press. Great point. And, and you can, and, and with those general themes, I mean, those, those, the themes that we're talking about, so you've heard Astra, Cadence, by the way, Cadence is spelled with a K, yeah. um, Bloxy, Generate Press, um, you know, those are all really longstanding um well-respected and well-maintained themes with really good support and very flexible. So if your customer at some point down the line says, hey, I'd like to add something in, into the header, you know, with those themes, you can do just about anything you want. Yeah. It, 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 even in the free one, like I said, I, I just built out a seven page site with the free cadence and free cadence blocks. Yeah. Uh, you make a good point. Like I looked at this restaurant and incidentally, Aaron put the, in the chat this and you might look at it for ideas, but it's only got 100 installed base. And that's a that's a red flag. And so. So they're working on the design elements and this stuff's coming forward. And as you look at your restaurant project, and you look at what they're doing, you may get some ideas. But I but what David's saying is he's right. You want. Half a million installs. Right. And updated in the last 30 days that that's pretty save you a lot of grief because we've been in these meetups. Somebody's got this some theme that hasn't been updated in three years. And we all rack our brains trying to figure out how it works. It's you're just way better off. You're using Astro. Use some of the things. He, people solve your problems quick. Thank you. 
Thank you all. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Let's see. We got a a, a question from Frank uh, about uh, photo galleries and SEO. Yeah, I mean, I I used to have um, a website that I built uh, several years ago on that the, I have a company that does artificial plants and trees, and so my business has a lot of photographs. We do model homes. I'm always taking pictures of model homes. We do. Um, casinos, we do uh, hospitality suites, we do residential homes, etc. So we have lots and lots of photographs. And the majority of my business doesn't come from local area, it comes from all over the place. I mean, I have interior designers in Southern California, I have interior designers in Texas, I have interior designers in Las Vegas, I have, I have, my customers are everywhere. So I can't afford to do um, paid advertising. And so I rely on SEO quite a bit. The reason why I, I got rid of Elementor and I went to um, Gutenberg Blocks recently was to improve my page speed. And I was very, very successful in making my page, my, especially my mobile page speed was like 30%. And now it's close to 100%. And my my desktop page speed is, is, is really, really fast. So I made progress in, in, in going to Blocks and improving, you know, getting rid of all the overhead of Elementor and making my site super fast. So if you go to PageSpeed Insights, it's really fast. The frustration that I had with using blocks is that I was using a lot of the blocks that that were inherent to WordPress, just the free stuff or that that I was using. And my photographs, when I when I would check my SEO using um, different SEO um, checkers, um, I, I use Screaming Frog quite a bit. I've found out that my alternate tags that are in my photo and my photo media and uh, my alternate tags and the uh, titles weren't coming out. It's like the block wasn't designed so that the the SEO promise would come out to the real world. And so I, you know, I, I would get lower ratings, you know, and, and Google wouldn't see me as, as well as uh, and my domain authority would, would decrease because my SEO wasn't wasn't good enough. And I ended up having to use test pages and check things like image image slider and gallery and 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 just see hey which which blocks actually bring out which parameters. I I was amazed as to how many blocks don't actually get optimized for SEO. Um, so just a warning to everybody. I mean, I end up having to do Google searches for what's the best image slider for WordPress and then and then do test pages to see that the SEO because I have you know I have over 30 blog posts and I have over 30 pages on my website and so I was using all kinds of themes all, all kinds of blocks that that didn't bring out SEO and it was really impacting my SEO so just an FYI for people when you mm -hmm. do use a block check out your website and make sure to it that your that your alternate tags and your and your and your titles and everything else are going to come out so that you don't suffer SEO issues. Well, if you have an image and you have the alt text and Google will search that, they'll read your alt text. That's are you using an SEO plugin? Are you using something like uh rank? I Master? use Yoast. Yoast. Yeah, I use Yoast. Um, but Yoast doesn't you know, Yoast doesn't 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 I, I mean Yoast helps me figure out what my what my meta meta description is and no. and helps me come up with keywords and helps me you know make sure i don't have lousy writing and and, and things like that yeah uh, but but you know you have to use a a a, a a a a tool like screaming frog or other seo tools to actually see if your alternate tags and and using, are tags using are coming the out. Yoast or the paid yoast hmm? are you using the free or the paid yoast i'm using the free Okay, yeah, because a lot of high-end developers have been moving to rank math. Yoast was bought recently, and it's a little bloaty, and it doesn't can slow your site down. Mm -hmm. It's a great tool. They give a lot of education. So I, you know, I'm not ripping on Yoast, but the, some of the things you're talking about, I don't know. That's consistent. I mean, you know how to optimize your images, right? You know the difference between a image yes. size and a file yes. size. You know how to get it right. you know, uh -huh. load properly. Okay, and you're doing your all descriptions, right? That's yeah, my media, my media um, file 
has every single photograph I have, I have thousands of photographs, um, has an alt, alt tag and title and description. And what you're saying is they're not coming through on the on the and site. I, so when you some, go and, some, you go and look in the I, most of the most of the image slider and and image galleries do not bring out those parameters. Okay, well, I I just on the site that I just finished that I was describing that I built with Cadence and Cadence yeah. blocks. Um, I have a gallery page that has a whole bunch of photos. You just made me go and look at look it up and see if the alt okay. tags are coming through, and they are. I mean, there's a grid of nine photos on that uh, at the beginning of that page, and when I brought up the inspector, the alt tags were were there, and that's that's using the Cadence Advanced Image Gallery block, which okay. is in free, which is in their free blocks. Okay. Yeah. That that's the that's basically the essence of what you're what you're saying is right that that yeah. the yeah. the gallery. I'm just saying, I'm just, what I'm saying is that there's a lot of blocks out there that are not optimized for seo and when you go select a block you need to check it before you go using it all over your website are you saying an image block or standard <laughs> image sliders blocks and standard gallery blocks yeah something's most not of them, most of them do, not, do not have the alternate tags and titles coming up yeah i don't yeah, use uh, um uh the one i'm gonna put a link to my uh yeah if you want to share your url we'll take a look at that because something's not ringing right here I, I don't know i mean i fixed it i fixed it but i spent a lot of time oh there it is okay um, so that's uh, a gallery page that's built with with the cadence advanced gallery again in free and the um the alt tags are coming through there on the at least on that top gallery, there's two yeah. galleries. Another there. issue I'm having now is that I use um, I use a, a plugin so that my Pinterest I have different uh, Pinterest um, blocks and um, all my all the all of the blocks of photographs from Pinterest come straight onto my website. But the problem is none of the photographs have alternate tags and title tags. Um, but I'm just going to live with that. So they're not you're just sharing stuff from Pinterest on your site. It's not your not not no, because what I'm doing is I'm saying these are the stuff that I did, and here's some ideas that you can you can use uh from Pinterest. So I use a Pinterest plugin to do that. So you're sharing your images on Pinterest. Yeah, I, I also okay. share my images on on Pinterest, but I'm uh the reason for bringing in Pinterest is to show people what what give people more ideas than stuff that I've done. Well, yeah, Pinterest is great. I mean, you you can do a lot with it. I I uh and it's a good way to reach to get a broad reach. Yeah. I, but I'm not really getting his S the SEO problem here. It doesn't really seem and, like and, and can I mention I, some I, pages are page? I, I mean I've I've been working on this for for months. Okay. And I just want I didn't I didn't want anyone else having the same problem that I'm having. I'm letting you be aware to check your blocks be, before you go using your blocks all over the place especially if they have to do with photos. Yeah, that's a good tip. I feel a little bit like the blocks world is the wild, wild west, you know, that mm -hmm. uh, there's so much new stuff coming out. It, the quality control isn't always there. Well, that's a, that's a great point. Uh, choosing blocks is no different than choosing a theme. It's exactly the same thing. Or choosing any plugin for that matter, it really is the wild, wild west still. It, it's better than it was. But you, like Mike Noter was saying oh, quite some time ago in this meeting, you need to vet the creator of whatever it is you're looking at. You need to see how many other people are using it, how often it's updated. Uh, you know, then that that information is obviously found out in the WordPress repository, wordpress.org slash themes or slash plugins or whatever. So you really need to research that to, to make sure you're you're not going to fall into the pit that Frank is trying to warn us about for sure. So, yeah, so, so Frank, on, on the page that yeah, you you put into the chat here, I on that one, if you scroll down, there's the, there's the um, there's the slider and then a little bit farther down, I do, do see alt tags in there. I, I'm, I, I fixed them. I mean, I, okay. I, I replaced my 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 plugins over and over and over. I mean, my my blocks over and over again, 
to find blocks that, that would have it. There's, there's some blocks that'll bring out an alter tag, but they won't bring out the title tag. There's blocks that don't bring out the title tag, but bring out the alternate tag. There's blocks that don't bring out either, and there's blocks that bring out both. And you have to, and if, you, if you're really worried about SEO like I am, because it's the bread and butter of me getting business, uh, you need to be careful because not all blocks are optimized for SEO. Yeah. What, what did you end up using? Oh, um, let me take a quick look here. Um, I ended up, I use a bunch of stuff. I use one that I really like is called Invera Gallery Light, Invera Gallery Light for galleries um i also use um a meta slider um i think those are both I have a, I, I, my, my theme is spectra um and um i use wb wp carousel so those are some of the things that I use right now that that seem to be bringing out um, alternate. But but I, it's been it was very frustrating because you know I, I I completely redid my word word my 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 website um, you know from Elementor I, I you know I had perfect SEO on Elementor and then I said well I need to really improve my my page speed so I went ahead and I converted my whole website um, to Gutenberg box and when I did that. You know, I I ran SEO after I finished everything, and then I found out there were so many blocks that that weren't optimized for SEO, and I ended up having to redo you know t do test pages and then tr try this block and try that block and try this block before I found one that actually said, oh, this block works. It actually brings everything out. It is a little bit of an aside, but Frank, some of the images aren't loading. I'm on an older computer at the moment. Um, are they? Uh, file types or maybe the um i wonder if these are webp or something i don't know i'm i'm using all kinds of photo i mean i'm using all kinds of things to optimize my photographs so uh there's a lot of plugins to do that yeah yeah i just uh noticed that the casinos uh images I, mean, I check my i check my 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 website on a mac on a on 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 uh on MacBook Pro, I, I check it on a normal PC and I check it on on two different uh, phones to, you know, an iPhone. And so, so I, I, I check my website on, on but I, you know, I can't check it on everything. Okay, yeah. Now, I'm, I'm looking, looking at everything. A bunch of them fine. Go ahead. I, I see everything just, just fine. It loaded, it didn't seem slow to me. Yeah, so I don't know, is anybody else having that problem? No, and I'm not seeing, I'm clicking through them in the inspector and I'm seeing nothing but JPEGs as far as, yeah, they, as, far as they're, them being possibly WebPs or something. Are they all JP, JPEG or are some of them JPG? They're all JPG. Because oh, the one that didn't load, the one I just checked was JPEG, which is interesting. I think maybe that's a server config thing and my computer doesn't understand uh, that that's a file that should be loaded in the browser rather than downloaded. Oh, but this may be an outlier. Like I said, this computer's not up to date. Just curious, what are you using, Frank, for uh, image optimization? For I'm, I didn't understand. What do you mean, the image optimization? Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Um. I thought you said you're using a whole bunch of stuff, and so I'm, I was I curious. This, I'm, I'm using a couple items right now. I don't remember at the. Let me see. What names? I was using WP Optimize, but I found out that it was messing up my uh, my my WordPress uh, my my my. My 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 buttons for people to do quotes and stuff. Um, so I deactivated that. Um, oh, the optimizers sometimes they may. I have I, I use short pixel image optimizer. That's great. And um, 
there's something else that I use. I'm going through. Oh, but for Pinterest, I use GS pins for Pinterest light. Um, yeah, that, that that's what I use most most mostly. There there was another plugin that I was using. I must have I must have disabled it and got rid of it because it was interfering with one or the other with different plugins. That's one of the things that I find is that I use multiple plugins and sometimes if I have two different plugins trying to do the same thing, they interfere with each other. So I deactivate them, but I'm using short pixel image optimizer right now. That's what I use too. That and adaptive images as well. So Doug, that's your favorite image optimizer a short pixel? Yeah, because you know they've got the two flavors: the image optimizer that Frank man, mentioned, and then they have the adaptive images where they're serving. It's kind of think of it as a, a CDN for images, so in a way, where they're actually serving the proper image that's needed for the the screen size, including WebP if you if you activate it. Well. Anybody ever come across the Slim SEO plugin? I currently am using it. Are you really? Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm not one to talk on this in this arena because I've not done a deep dive into any SEO plugs. I'm. I. I haven't had to. I haven't had any clients that have uh, really pay attention to it. It's all local business stuff, and they're. I'm more interested in it than they am. I end up giving them reports and they're like, I don't want to see this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't had to dissect them, but uh, a couple of my colleagues uh, all started off with Yoast. And of course, a lot of us have, have ran away from that show a while, a couple of years ago, and then went to Slim SEO, Rank Math, um, or not Slim SEO, uh, SEO press and oh, uh, oh, oh. rank math. And then slim SEO came out. And I think a lot of us paid a lot of attention because it's from the same company that does Metabox. Oh, and a lot of us are Metabox fans. Yeah. I have ACF as well, but Metabox is easier from a UI perspective. And just, I don't know why it's just the way I've gone. And so they made slim SEO. And so that right now is what I drop on all my sites until I find a reason not to. They seem yeah. to be yeah. acutely aware of overhead and not slowing the page down and not slowing the site down or anything like that. And I, I yeah. dig that. So. Yeah, I got I put rank math on the site that I just finished and um, I still get a hundred percent on Google Page Speed Insights on desktop and like 97 on mobile. And yeah, rank math, rank math SEO didn't press. change the thing, you know? Yeah. You can't go wrong. Rank Math, yeah. SEO Press, um, and hope, hopefully uh, Slim SEO will turn out to be the same way, but you can't go wrong with those. Yeah. Slim SEO just kind of came onto my radar because I was watching a YouTube video as a channel I discovered recently that I really like uh, called The Admin Bar, the YouTube channel. Oh, he's, yeah. He's a, he's yeah. a generate press guy. Yep. Generate press, generate blocks. And so I've been, I, 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 I've been, I primarily build with Cadence theme and blocks and I'm very aware of generate press and its reputation you know, being a really, you know, super lightweight, and really good theme. And, um, but, but his stuff is off, often applicable to anything you're using. You know, he does, he does really good. He does great tutorials. The guy that does that channel and he yeah. mentioned slim SEO recently. And, and um, so it made me look at it and I was like, oh, this is interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, because there's a decent amount of setup with rank math and slim SEOs, at least their marketing pitch is, hey, install it and, it pretty, and it's real simple to configure and done, you know? Yeah. So I can see for sites that SEO is not a priority, but you want to have the meta titles and meta descriptions in there. That might be a great one to install and, and quickly set up and be done with it, you know? Definitely. Yeah, from a respectable company too. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's no there's no question there about vetting the company behind it and if it's going to be around a while. And, right. And uh, obviously their intent, at least right now, on uh, making sure they don't make a bloated project product as time goes on. So yeah. So well, this the name, they, they've named it saying that they're not going to make it bloated, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this admin bar, this is a uh, admin bar.com. Is it because there's a bunch of I think that bars. might be is, is, is uh there's a bunch in the when I do a search, so I'm not I want to make sure uh the YouTube channel is called the admin bar. Oh, okay. YouTube, okay. Yeah, it's it's the admin bar.com. It's the yellow and black and white. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I got. Okay, yeah. that's the one. So they'll yeah. have a uh, they'll have a YouTube page too. Okay, cool. This yeah, is I, I, this I is really... one of the more popular communities out there. All it's right. huge. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, on that SEO plugins, there's like three or four that are you know there's all in one. But we didn't really talk about too much. Yoast, Rank Math. SEO press. I don't really know the slim one, uh, but you, you pretty much want to have something that's got a pretty, just like the themes, just like the plugins, a large installed base, regularly updated. And they're still advancing it. They'll all work. Um, Frank's uh, issues are something kind of unique. I've not really, it, and of course, not all blocks are going to be optimized for SEO. You know, that's not what they're, you know, if you, your blocks are your blocks. But you use your SEO alt descriptions and meta tags and stuff to drive your, you know, your SEO rankings. But uh, yeah, so I didn't fully get my head around Frank's problems there. I, I recognize that a lot of the stuff's not coming through because he's using certain image blocks and they're either suppressing the alt tags or the metadata. I hadn't heard that before, but it sounds like he's on top of it, though. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was something that surprised me when I when I when I when I decided to rewrite my my site because I was using Elementor and I didn't have these issues. But when I went to you know, more different blocks, that's when when I discovered all these different problems. Were and it was when I, when I and it was when I ran when I ran my site to um, to um, Yoast. I mean, um, Screaming Frog. That's when I found all of the problems. Were you using Elementor Pro? Or no, I was using regular Elementor. Free. Hmm. I was using a free version. Okay. All right, folks. It's after eight. Once again, we've done a marathon session here. <laughs> but you're quitting now? <laughs> just kidding <laughs> you guys have no endurance my god <laughs> so uh well great guys um uh thanks everybody for participating that was great and um we'll uh yeah and, and um uh, we will be back at it again next month thanks for hosting oh you're welcome of course, yeah, of course. Always, always yeah, thank you pleasure. a good meeting yeah good to see you guys again yeah. yeah. Uh, Thanks, you and, guys. Uh, and Carol, I put my info in the chat there for you, by the way, if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, folks. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>